Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Ozzy here from Black Hat Comics and Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. It's a week packed with fun stuff to read, a lot to talk about this week. I'm gonna start with the Marvel guys. I'm gonna start with this one. This is Captain Marvel number three. This is the biggest superhero to take over the planet these days. You've probably already seen the movie twice. We really enjoyed it, really liking this current book. This is issue three, still got the first two issues in stock if you get here fast. All kinds of Captain Marvel stuff available, trades and previous series and pop figures and all that good stuff. So if you're in the middle of Captain Marvel mania, this is the week for you. And Guardians of the Galaxy, the other Outer Space Heroes book of the week. Getting ready for the uh, War of the Realm stuff. Going to be a lot going on with Guardians and Avengers and all of that. Great time to be an X-Men fan. Been talking up a lot of this book, Uncanny X-Men. It's your latest issue, number 14. Uh, this is the second or third issue of the latest arc. The trade for 1 through 10 is out this week, so you can pick up the trade, catch up to the most recent issue. Great time to be an X-Men fan. Sort of a old is new again, back to basics thing with Cyclops and Wolverine putting together a new team. Like I say, good time to be an X-Fan. There's this one, a couple of Age of X-Men books this week. This is Next Gen and Amazing Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler's always been one of my favorite X-Men. Always good to see him in his own book. Going way back to his original miniseries way back in the day. And Wolverine Infinity Watch rounds out your uh, Wolverine X-Men stuff for the week. Like I say, good time to be an X-Fan these days. And it's always a great time to be a fan of the A-Team. This is your latest issue of The Avengers, my favorite book in comics. But the one everybody's talking about is Avengers No Road Home. This is the uh, second weekly book they've done, uh, oh, I don't know, in the last year. Uh, the first one gave us Immortal Hulk. This one's giving us uh, the infusion of Conan into the uh, standard Marvel Universe. Like I always say, love me some Avengers. Uh, this one, again, has been weekly, so you may have already missed a couple of issues. Get into your shop fast and uh, catch up to this week's number six. A couple of them have already sold out. And West Coast Avengers your third Avengers book for the week. And Thor number 11 rounds out your Avengers related stuff. Good time to be a Thor fan. Another one, uh, one of the books that's getting ready for the big War of the Realms thing. Big Spider-Man week too. Spider-Man City at War brings back the uh, video game version of everyone's favorite arachnid hero. But the one I'm excited about is Spider-Man Life Story. You can read more about this one in our newsletter this week. This is a, a real-time version of the story of Spider-Man. Obviously, it's uh, out of continuity and self-contained and all that kind of good stuff. They're going to walk you through uh, the life of Peter Parker in real time. So uh, what's been going on since he got bit by the spider back in 1962? Great stuff. And Friendly Neighborhood, along with Miles Morales, the uh, most popular Spider-Man these days, and Venom rounding out your spider stuff for the week. Good time to be a spider fan. Immortal Hulk is probably the biggest and baddest book Marvel is doing right now. This book exploded a few issues ago. Trades are selling out, issues are selling out, and going to reprint. I've been talking about this one since the first issue because it's a really cool, interesting take on uh, the classic version of uh, Bruce Banner's raging alter ego. If you don't uh, haven't been following much about Immortal Hulk, if you don't know much about what's going on in this title, just grab this latest issue and dive in, particularly because it's got Doc Sampson. Everybody loves Doc Sampson. Star Wars. I've been encouraging you guys to jump in on all of this Star Wars stuff. Marvel's been doing a great job with the Star Wars line. This is the main book. They've got a new Darth Vader rolling out, Dr. Aphra, and they've got a couple of minis like Star Wars the Solo Adaption. I really like the movie and they're doing a great job with the comic adaption, as of course they always do. And Savage Sword of Conan rounds out your Marvel stuff for the week. Uh, they've been doing a lot with this guy since getting the license back from Dark Horse. There's Conan the Barbarian, there's Savage Sword, there's Age of Conan, and as aforementioned, now they're uh, wrapping him up into the Avengers titles. 
Good time to be a fan of Barbarians. Really small week for the DC guys for some reason, but always great stuff to talk about like this one. It's your latest issue of Batman. You know we're always talking about Batman and Tom King. If uh, for some reason you're not following this book, if you're one of the three people not reading the main Batman book, you've got to pick up uh, Rebirth Volume 1, grab Volume 4, The War of Jokes and Riddles, or just jump into the latest issue. This really is one of the best books in comics these days. That one and Nightwing with Joker's Daughter rounds out your bat stuff for the week. Also been encouraging you guys to check out Nightwing since issue 50, if not from the very beginning, because uh, this is another one of the better books that DC has these days. Justice League, one of the biggest books in comics, as it should be. Also, like Batman, been talking up this title for quite a while, because it's uh, all your big heroes and all your big villains. This is everything that Justice League is supposed to be. This one's got Mitch's Pitalik, Super awesome. And Teen Titans is your other team book for the week. This one starts your new story arc with Deathstroke. So uh, if you've been holding out on Teen Titans for a little while, this is your time to jump back in. And Aquaman, another one of DC's best titles. Another book that might be flying under your radar, but this one's been really solid from the beginning. So if you like the movie or if you've just been wondering uh, what they do with Aquaman in the comics, this is a good time to jump in on that. Damage is your new Age of Heroes book. Pearl is your Jinx World Brian Michael Bendis book because he's got a whole mess of things that he does over at DC these days like all the super books, like all these Jinx World books, like the Wonder Comics books. Guy's a very, very busy man. Lucifer is your Sandman Universe Vertigo book of the week. There's a whole mess of this stuff going on and you guys have been eating it up. So, and this is probably the most popular of the bunch. I hope this one's already on your list because it's been going pretty fast. High Level and American Carnage are your other Vertigo books of the week. Always encouraging you guys to go to the Vertigo page on the DC site and check out all the different cool things they do. If you like the darker, edgier stuff, if you're looking for something that's non-superhero, Vertigo has a long, long history of great titles. And Wildstorm completes your DC list for the week. Like I say, not a huge week, but always, always good stuff from those guys. It's a really great week for all the other guys, too. Great week for my friends at Dark Horse. This is your latest issue of BPRD. You know, I'm always talking up the Mike Mignola stuff. Hellboy, BPRD, Abe Sapien, Lobster Johnson, Baltimore, Joe Gollum, whatever it is that says Mike Mignola on it. If you like the creepy crawly stuff, if you like horror superhero fusion, you got to be checking out anything BPRD. Great stuff. Avatar shows you that uh, another great example of Dark Horse's licensed product stuff like Alien and Predator and Robocop, Avatar. Uh, Dark Horse sort of reinvented licensed property comics. They used to be really lousy when I was a kid, quite frankly. Uh, but, but Dark Horse just does a great, great job with all this stuff. So if you love Avatar, then you're going to want to check out the comic. And Invisible Kingdom is your latest first issue of the Burger Book stuff. We've really been encouraging you guys to check out all of these burger books because it's always great stuff. She did a bang up job at Vertigo. Now she's over at Dark Horse. Uh, and like I say, first issues are always fun to check out. This one's got a lot of buzz behind it. So I hope that you're already in line at your shop for that one. And Mystery Science Theater 3000. Like I said, great week for Dark Horse. Good uh, opportunity to show you the huge range of stuff that they do. Uh, MST3K is super awesome. It was Super fun on the show. It's just as fun in the comics. They take Golden Age books and poke fun at them like they did with the movies. Great stuff. And a good week for Image, too. Monstrous is probably one of the very best books in comics right now. It's won a ton of Eisner's last year, and it deserves it. Great stories, great art. Uh, pick up that first trade paperback. Pick up the Image First reprint of the first issue. Uh, or just jump into the latest one to see what all the buzz is about. It's another book we're always talking about. Another book that has huge steam behind it on the internet, so don't take my word for it, believe the internet. <laughs> and Bitter Root is another uh, recent hot image book along with Middle West. Middle West just sort of exploded at about issue number three. We're always encouraging you guys to grab those first issues because when they're gone, they're gone and there's always a lot of demand to it. James Bond is my dynamite book of the week because there's nothing more awesome than seeing James Bond in comics. Dynamite does two Bond books. There's this one and the origin story. So if you're a Bond fan, you're going to want to check that out. Firefly 
This is my Boom Studios book of the week. Joss Whedon's taken all of his uh, Whedon verse over to uh, Boom Studios. He's doing Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He's doing Firefly over there. If you love the show like I do, if you love the movie like I do, you're going to want to get up on this. This is the Bad Company one-shot going along with the main series. Fun stuff. Dungeons and Dragons is the IDW book of the week. Always fun to see D&D &D back in comics because uh, it's a game, but it's also a super awesome comic line that they've been doing for a long, long time. So if you like the game or if you just like adventure fantasy comics, pick up that first issue. And Exo Manowar is my Valiant book of the week. Always encouraging you guys to check out the cool stuff Valiant does. And Exo is a great place to start. A little bit Iron Man, a little bit Conan. Great stuff. And a good week for the All Ages stuff, too. Marvel Action Avengers. IDW does a whole line of uh, Marvel heroes in the All Ages stuff. They do Avengers. They do Spider-Man. They're about to do Black Panther. If you've got a young reader in your life, or if you're just looking for uh, something a little lighter, something a little fun, check out the uh, Marvel Action line. You know I love anything Avengers. Teen Titans Go! It's your DC All Ages book of the week. You guys love the show. So if you love the show, you want to be picking up the comic. This has actually been running for a long, long time. So uh, if you don't know much about Teen Titans Go, or like say, if you love the show, grab some of those back issues, grab some of the trade paperbacks. Again, if you've got a young reader in your life, or if you're just looking for something a little lighter, a little fun, great stuff. And My Little Pony completes the run for the week. Like I say, always encourage you guys to uh, have an all-ages book on your list. All the different publishers do a great job with the all-ages stuff. Lots and lots of fun books, so make sure you check those shipping lists, get down to your shop, pick up something super awesome. In the big news, next week is Detective Comics 1000, the big 1,000th issue of Detective Comics. So make sure you get in here early to get your choice of all the covers. We're gonna have the back wall all done up in uh, Detective Comics with all kinds of keys, all kinds of anniversary issues and classics. So like I say, make sure you get in early next Wednesday, pick up those Detective 1000s, grab some classic Batman stuff. It's a big Batman day next week, so don't miss out. I wanna mention that WonderCon is also next weekend. Uh, we're gonna be down in Anaheim doing all those things we do at the big shows just like we did last week at uh, Emerald City Comic Con. So make sure you keep up with the Facebook page and the YouTube channel and all that to see what we're doing down in Anaheim. Also want to say that we've got the whole back wall done up for you with everything that we brought back from uh, Emerald City Comic Con. Had a lot of fun up in Seattle. Uh, you can go to the Facebook page and check out the videos and the pictures, everything that we posted from the show. Get on in and check out all the cool books that we picked up, like Avengers number 57, like all these cool Shazams. Lots and lots of great stuff that we got at the show. All kinds of fun going on in the world of comics. So, like I say, keep up with all this Black Cat media so you can see all the great things that we got going on. That's all we got for you for this week. You can check us out at uh, black-cat-comics.com and check out the especially cool Shopify store. You can check out the Facebook page, the YouTube channel. Check out the podcast at soundcloud.com. Just get on down here to the good old brick and mortar in Rockin' Milpitas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.